I used to work in a hospital ward where a lot of people were in hospital for a long time and people's lives were being extended and extended and extended and extended and they were, had no quality of life and they were terminally ill, most of them, you know, with, in very harsh conditions, not seeing the outside for six months at a time. Now, in those situations, I don't, I don't know that I would continually when someone's almost comatose all of the time, they're already kind of leaving this life and to prolong their life all of that time, I don't think they're going to take that opportunity. But I don't know. I used to stand up for some patients and say, hey, no, you can't make that decision for them. They have to make the decision. So, yeah, it's individual, I think. And we, this is where we have to rest on the principles that we're learning and not use it A plus B equals, yeah, yeah. Okay, lots of hands went off then, oh my gosh. Um, if you just go beside you, Alex, to one. Um, just with what you were saying, I have a problem with, with that and I feel really compelled that to prolong, um, like to avoid the truth of where, where we're at by using something to, to extend it, it seems, I feel it's really untruthful. Like I know I lack probably compassion for people like you were saying, you'd want to ease someone's suffering. But I feel like just be like <laughs> straight down the line. Like, Can you see that's the way you treat yourself, Mon? Oh, well, and it doesn't I'd actually like to help that. you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Well, it doesn't actually help you when you're really harsh on yourself. You know, when you go, no, that's the truth and I'm going to get it. Y you're not, can you feel the feeling inside of you is not love for yourself? Um, it's like forcing of its judgment of the error. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like that's, like that's the only way to do it. I don't feel like you can be compassionate or... Like, it has to be hard. It has to be... Like, there is no... You can't give someone the easy way or the, you can't give someone the... The loving, the loving thing. Like... And can I don't you feel like they will help. Yeah. And it's just an error in you, sister. <laughs> because can you see how then we begin to, to superimpose those feelings onto God? It's very hard for us to imagine a compassionate God when we feel like love is actually being easy on you. Love is being easy, yeah. Really from what you said, the feeling you have is... Love is actually letting yourself off the hook and being easy on yourself. Yes. Yeah. When love is not, love is very powerful and it is firm for truth, but it's not, um, it's not harsh, it's not punishing, you know? And this is the, the line, I think, lots of us, I, and I observe lots of you guys get in this place where you go, that's the truth, I am doing it. That is it, right? And it's, you're actually putting upon yourselves things that were put upon you as children. And when there's no love accompanying the truth, it's not really a powerful truth. And we have to practice this with ourselves as well. And then we'll find it easy to practice it with each other. Yeah, so can I ask you then, Mary, like what is then compassion? Because I struggle with compassion for myself. And I don't know if you said that before, but... Yeah. Struggle for compassion for myself and for others. And I know that you say, like, Fred is really compassionate. And I don't understand. I don't understand that. Yeah. Mon, I don't know if I'm the most qualified to answer this question. <laughs> but something that comes to me is about God's grace, like how much God loves us. And if you can, every time you catch yourself judging yourself, and by that I mean saying, I am less than or I am bad because of this thing in me, if you can recognise that that's not how God sees you, even intellectually first, and say, oh no, God's still loving me and he's just seeing this wound inside of me and, and now I'm acting out of this wound. And just just seeing it in that way rather than seeing it and immediately immediately trying to punish or eradicate it from yourself rather than just being with the pain of it. I feel that will help you a lot towards compassion for yourself and other people. Is that helpful? Yeah, thank you. If I, if I have any more inspiration, I'll uh, let you know. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.